17 years old, unmarried female with a history of uh, uh, pain in the right pelvic region for the last uh, few years. We are seeing the uterus in longitudinal section. I have aligned the uterus with the vagina and what the it measures approximately 7.0 by 3.0 centimeter is with the normal dimensions and this is the urinary bladder. The endometrial canal is clear, the, the uh, myometrium is okay, cervix is normal. Now there is small amount of fluid seen in the, uh, <coughs> this area. This back area is suggestive of small amount of fluid. And uh, now, when I move the probe towards the, uh, in the transverse direction, what you see is, this is the ovary, this is the left ovary, you can see a follicle within it, this is the uterus in transverse section, this is the endometrial canal, measuring approximately uh, 9.8, and the fluid is most probably suggestive of being post ovulatory. This is small amount of fluid. This one. Okay, now on the right, at, in the region of the right adenexa, what's seen is uh, tubular, thick walled cystic area with uh, strong back wall. Here we this is the longitudinal section where full of debris and it measures approximately 10, point, 10 centimeters uh, in length and uh, 5 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. This is the wall. You can see the thickness of the wall. Wall measures 6.4 and uh, mm 6.4 millimeter. Now this is all debris. This is all debris. This is all debris within this uh, tubular cystic mass. And you can see the strong back wall or increase through transmission posterior to it. This is the urinary bladder and this is the longitudinal section of this uh, mass under study. Here is the uh, transfer section. Now this is the uterus, this is the endometrial canal and this is the transfer section of the uh, cystic uh, area with strong back wall uh, uh, and filled with debris. Let's see what is the approximate volume of this uh, cystic area. Now the approximate volume of the debris with the natives approximately one <coughs> excuse me seven, uh, 173 ml uh, so 173 ml is the uh, volume and this finding along with uh, calcifications uh, within it as for example this is one of the calcifications seen within this uh, uh, mass, cystic mass and this is consistent with uh, pyoselpings, uh, right pyoselpings. This is the uterus, and here in the region of the right adenexa, you can see the uh, eco-filled uh, cystic mass with uh, calcifications. This is a calcification. These are two other debris, thick debris is also seen. This is thick every and this is a thick wall, and this is in fact, now these are the iliac vessels. As you see them, these are the iliac vessels, and uh, what about this uh, cystic area?
there is no vascular uh, supply seen, vessel seen within this uh, cystic area, though it's wall. In the wall, we do see uh, venous supply, and walls does con wall contains uh, vessels, arterial as well as uh, vascular. This is arterial. This is uh, venous. And otherwise, there is no vessel seen within this uh, uh, cystic mass, and this mass is, in fact, a pyocerpin. Tubo ovarian mass consistent with uh, being a pyoserpin. Case of Berlin. Thank you very much.